Hi, I'm Fuad. I'm Anoop. I'm Hyungwon. We are all researchers on the agents team at OpenAI. And today we're going to share some updates to Codex CLI and a new model that we released, Codex Mini. You can see here, I'm going to go ahead and start by signing into Codex with ChatGPT. And I'll go ahead and allow API access. And now you can see it's running. And you'll see that it's using the new Codex Mini model, which is a 04 Mini fine tune that's optimized for use in Codex CLI for low latency code Q&A, editing, and you'll also notice better instruction following. Maybe to get us started, uh, Hyungwon, do you want to drive and talk a little bit about how you use Codex CLI? Yeah, sure. So the main use cases uh, I have with the Codex CLI is asking questions about the code base. So here, let me just type out a question. Um, so I kick it off. And the model will start exploring this code base uh, much faster than I can read. So as AI models get uh, better and better, the types of tasks that we ask the models to do are also getting more complicated. But we still have to express our uh, tasks in natural language so that we can type into the model. So this communication process of transforming my thoughts into a natural language is becoming more and more challenging as the task gets more difficult. So I use Codex CLI to really quickly understand this problem space by exploring this um, code base, ask questions. Then I can formulate my task in a much clearer way. So, yeah. Cool. And maybe speaking of a task, um, there was something that uh, a lot of people have asked for, something that I wanted myself, which is being able to view and resume past sessions in Codex. And what we see here is a task that actually kicked off last night in Codex and ChatGPT, where we can see that it you know, made a few hundred lines of changes. It even put up a pull request. It seems pretty good to me. I tried it, but um, maybe, maybe a noob. Do you want to actually give it a shot and tell me what you think? Yeah, let's do it. So let me pull down the branch. And then I will go ahead and run Codex. So like Fouad mentioned, the task here was to view the previous sessions uh, with the Codex agent. So we noticed that it actually implemented the change, but there's a few minor tweaks that I would personally make before merging it in. Uh, the biggest one being the data is formatted improperly. So let me go ahead and tell the agent to please do this. OK, so while the agent is thinking, I want to take a step back and summarize the workflow we've done so far. So as these coding agents are doing more of the coding, our job is going to be more about task planning and delegation, which Kyung Wan showed, and then verifying the change that the agent makes and getting it to a final state of actually merging it in. Uh, this is actually what we've tuned the Codex Mini model for, uh, and this is what we're really excited to share with you all. So let me actually verify the change that it made now, which looks good to me. Yeah, let's, let's ship it. All right, cool. Well, you can see how we use Codex CLI directly from our terminal to ask questions and to learn more about a problem before we then maybe go kick off a task um, with a bigger model or directly in Codex and ChatGPT. We're using this day in, day out, and we're so excited to share this with all of you, and we can't wait to see what you build. Thanks.